hey guys welcome back okay today we're gonna do a highly requested video with harry and lewis okay and i'm like why why are y'all requesting two these two men okay so i started doing a little research and looking and i didn't see you know when i saw videos of them together which was rare i didn't see a lot of it and it was back in the day it was nothing recent i'm like they just perform and they, you know, they perform it together. And then so I started looking for pictures of each one of them. And then I pulled up the picture of Harry. And this is what I, this is what I found. I mean, it's not like I found it. It's like, this is the first picture. And I'm like, okay, now I get it. Now, I, I guess I get it now. And don't come for me for this picture. Okay, I didn't take this picture. Harry took the picture. Okay, this is Harry picture. Ha Harry is proud of it. And he working it. I mean, he working that little dress. Okay. Okay, that's that's Harry. Okay, that's what I found with Harry. And then I found this is this Lewis. This is who. This look like somebody uncle. This who y'all want to be with this person. Somebody uncle. Okay, so I'm like, okay, maybe I can find another picture of Lewis. What's Lewis up to? Is this Lewis? The local, um, the bagger at the local Pickle, Pickle Weekly <laughs> at the local grocery store? Come on, y'all. Is this Lewis? I mean, he look happy. He look happy, okay? I'm not, I'm not knocking. He, Lewis look happy, okay? If he look... Working at the local grocery store and bagging your groceries, he 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 may be the best at it. Okay, he looks happy, joyful. He don't look happy here. I don't know what's going on with him here. Okay, he ha he happy. Clearly, he happy. So we're gonna find out what's going on with these people and why y'all think they are together or want to be together. Or wish they could be together. Honey, Harry. Harry, like he's looking for something bigger and better. I'm just going to be honest. But I don't even know if I'm going to use these cards first. I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use these. Okay, let's see what we can pull with this. Okay, so we got Harry here. Harry, of course. Harry Edward Styles. Okay. February the 1st, 1994. He's 27 years old. Harry is a Aquarius. Okay, it makes sense. It's all making sense now. This is a Aquarius from head to toe. This is an Aquarius, okay? So, then we have Lewis William Tomlinson, okay? He was born December 24th, 1991. He's a Capricorn. Okay, Capricorns. Yeah, happy. Capricorns, yeah, they have happy, they have good personality sometimes. But then they also lie to you. And then get mad when you catch them in a lie. So it's like, really? So, here we go. Let's find out what's going on and what y'all see or what y'all hoping to see with Harry and Lewis. Okay? Divine Angels give me the best card that describes the relationship between Harry and Lewis. The relationship, the friendship, whatever it is. Okay? Let's see. We got the main man. Of course our main man gonna be Harry, right? It can't be the local grocery store um clerk. And I'm not saying nothing against the local grocery store clerk, but I'm just saying it can't be Lewis. Not in this reading. Okay, so Harry said he's the main man. So we got the main man, and then we got imprisonment. Imprisonment. Okay, somebody feeling imprisoned. Okay, so this is describing their relationship. Somebody fell in prison, the, the main man. Then we got the family room. Okay. You know, probably once was family. Or probably still is family. Okay, child. Maybe something, you know, when they was younger. Okay, then we're followed by the marriage card. Oh, okay, okay. The marriage card. <laughs> okay, so 
pocket. Now, does that not kind of look like, okay, Lewis in the top hat and that, in that dress, Harry. Is it, oh my God. <laughs> I thought y'all was crazy. <laughs> Let's see, can we get one more card from this deck to describe Harry and Lewis' relationship? Okay, we got wealthy man. Now we know Lewis ain't wealthy either, so come on. And I don't even know the man, so I'm wrong for saying it. So we got the main man, we got imprisonment, we got the family room, we got the child card, marriage, and the wealthy man. I need some clarification because I don't know what's going on here. Okay, let's find out more about, let's break down this wealthy man. I mean the main man. This main man. I really just can't get any more about the main man and Larry and Harry <laughs> Lewis reading. Okay. We got destiny. We got the destiny card. Oh, let's get told about this main man. Dating queen. Okay. So that's definitely Harry. Okay. So Harry. Oh, so in this relationship, I'm seeing that, you know, we got the main man. Okay. He's living his destiny. He's out there living his dreams. Okay. Harry's still doing it. I don't know what Lewis is doing. Lewis do look happier in that second picture, you know, with him wearing the, um, the red shirt. You look happy getting out of that van, getting out the back seat of somebody's van. <laughs> you don't look happy here with that haircut and all. He looking depressed and sad. Harry, um, I guess Harry happy because he posing like he happy. He got them little pointed shoes on, pointed toe shoes on like he happy. So we're going to say he happy. So, and but then we got the dating queen. So out there living this life, dating, um... Probably did date this main man dating a female, you know, because Harry is with Olivia. But it's like imprisonment, like hiding something, like, like, you know, being encaged, not, you know, being quiet, being, being in jail. I shouldn't just simple, being in jail, being locked down. Imprisonment. Let's, let's find out more about this imprisonment card and why is somebody feeling in, imprisoned? With Harry and Larry and Lewis. Why do you want to say Larry? Harry and Lewis. Okay. That's the imprisonment card here. What can you tell us about the imprisonment card? We got the lavender. Surrender yourself with love. It says surround yourself with love. Okay. So somebody is feeling imprisoned. Okay. And they may not be surrounded by love. Okay. So it says... With the lavender card, it says, surround yourself with love. Someone is feeling in prison. And, but the cards are saying to surround yourself with love. Be, you're not surrounded with love in this, um, in this jail cell. So I see, I need some more clarification on that, honey. What can you tell us more about this imprisonment card for Harry and Lewis? Okay, we got that faded, faded to suffer. Wow, faded to suffer. That's deep. It's like it's in this card. I'm getting that someone was given an opportunity, and it wasn't a good opportunity. Okay, you can tell the creepy person that's giving you the opportunity. You know it's not good. Okay. And then we have the atonement card. Okay, with this person being stabbed in the back. So someone is feeling hurt, stabbed in the back. Okay. And they may be suffering. 
I'm kind of suffering that's going on. And it's like they need to surround themselves with some type with love. I'm like, I'm like, well, some type of love, honey. Because this little mouse right here is all you got. This imprisonment card. Oh my goodness. What kind of is this love? Maybe I shouldn't have pulled from that deck. But it, it goes with the imprisonment card. Like somebody is suffering. Okay, that's some type of suffering, somebody feeling backstabbed in this relationship. Okay. Okay. And it, it's like with the failure to suffer card. It's like it was going to happen. It's like you, it's almost like this person deserved, feel like they deserved it. Like it was going to happen anyway. It's like it was set up for them. It's like it was in the cards for them to suffer this way. It was, uh, I don't know. Family room. We got the family room card. Why is the family room card here? For Harry and Lewis. Relationship. What is this telling us? Family room. Okay. We got chop wood. Time to clean house. Got the broom there. It's time to clean house. Okay. It's like it's time to get your house in order. Somebody needs to get their house in order at this point. Okay. Let's find out more about this family room card. Why is this family room? And chop wood. Why is this chop wood card here? Somebody's playing house. Protest. Start a revolution. What kind of reading is this? Okay. It's like it's some changes need to happen. I need to know more about this chop wood start a revolution. Change up some things. Okay, because that's exactly what Harry is doing. He's definitely changing up some things. Why's the chop wood here? Confusion. I know, I'm I'm confused as heck in this in this reading. Okay, we got, okay, it's, it seems like, okay, we got the main male over here. We just Destiny, he dating over, over here. He's doing his dating thing, okay? But then somebody's feeling like they're in prison. They're feeling like they are not living their truth, okay? Being backstabbed, okay? And it's like, may not even be surrounded by people that really care for them because they really need to surround themselves with love because it's like, because they need to really make, clean house okay because there's a lot of confusion going on in their house in their family okay it's time to and it's time to start it, they say start a revolution which means <laughs> do somebody need to free somebody like y'all free Britney does somebody need to come out and help somebody because somebody's real confused I don't know which one need help Okay, because next we have the child card here under the main male. Why is the child card here? Trying to find some balance. Okay, that's cute, but give us more, please. Balance, okay, because we got the child card here. It's like people are turning their back on somebody. And then this card says, slay them all. What is going on? Somebody's starting a revolution, honey. And maybe because of something that happened as a child. Okay, something that happened as a child. Where they feel like they were trying to balance, thing, balance, balance things out. And people was turning their back on them. They feel like people, someone turned their back on them. Okay. When they was a child. When they was, you know, vulnerable. And now they feel like, okay, I'm going to slay them all. I mean, I might in, in starting a revolution is I, th I hear somebody telling all or speaking out or saying something. Okay. It says slay them all in this relationship. And then we got the marriage card. Why is the marriage card here? For Harry and Lewis. The 
look at the marriage card. Can you tell us? I am feeling I want to pull from this deck here. I can't tell us about the marriage card. Okay, hurry. Finesse. Getting something in a slick way. Smoothing things out. Still buttering up. Persuading. Charm. Okay. Somebody, somebody being played. Somebody trying to finesse the system. Okay. Followed by the fear of missing out card. The FOMO card. Feeling pressure. I need to know is this a real marriage card? Marriage card, you know, of course, marriage a couple together. Okay. But it's like somebody played somebody. Okay. It's like the fear of missing out on the opportunity, feeling pressured, have to make a choice when it comes to this relationship or this friendship. Give us more about this marriage card. Can you tell us about this marriage card? Okay, we got the very soon. Oh, Clear, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so it's like very soon. With this marriage card. What else can you tell us about this marriage card? Playfulness. It says to recapture romance. Allow your inner youth for self to and spirit to shine. We have a flirt card. Followed by the past life relationship. You have known each other before. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Ooh. I'm seeing an opportunity here. Okay. Somebody going to be moving in a very slick way. Okay. In a very slick way. Coming in, buttering things up, finessing the system, being very slick with it, being playful, flirt, flirty. And it's going to happen real soon, okay? Because they may even be striking back up this Harry and Lewis relationship thing. But I don't think so because they can be because I think Lewis is in a relationship with somebody that he clearly care about. Because guess what? He keeps this person out of the public eye. Okay, so he's protecting this person. This is a real, real relationship. I'm like what Harry and Olivia got going on. Okay. So we got this wealthy man here. So after we talking about the opportunity. Okay. Very soon something's going to be happening. Feeling pressured. Okay. Some choices are going to be made. Okay. But this wealthy man. But you're probably going to make somebody rich. Somebody already rich. Make somebody richer. Let's find out more about that, honey. What can you tell us about this wealthy man? Okay, this card, these cards didn't tell me nothing I needed. Let me pull here. Can you tell us about this wealthy man here? Revenge. Uh-oh. We got revenge. Naked before the stars. What in the world? Preach. Pre-chance to dream. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this is definitely giving me like a some type of tell-all, some type of speaking out. Some type of, yeah, some truth. Um, Writing a book, a documentary, something like that. Okay, it's gonna make somebody some money, honey. This giving me Lewis. Like Lewis probably gonna come out telling some stuff, it seems like, to make some extra money. I don't know. Okay, it, this reading right here, and this is the reading that y'all was looking for. Okay, um, and he may come in being flirty, or this could be. I don't know. These this this is weird. Let's see. Hold on. What can we pull for? Give me some clarification here. I need some clarification on top of the clarification. Let 
Okay, tell us about this wealthy man. Give me more about this wealthy man. Procrastination. Okay, we know real wealthy men don't procrastinate. So let's can you tell us? This is some sneaky type of energy. Like some backstabbing sneaky type of say what you mean. Like somebody's not telling the truth. Somebody's coming in um, trying to finesse the system. Maybe trying to get some money out of somebody. Probably come in and act like they care about um, what's going on. And going to end up backstabbing somebody. Okay. Why though? Why? Why, why, why? I'm, I'm going to see. We're going to see what's going on here. But I don't see no love here. Okay. I see somebody over here. Destin destiny. Somebody's over here trying to, you know, find a destiny. The main man, he over here dating, living his life. Okay. Then here's somebody feeling like they in prison. They feeling like they probably was done wrong in some kind of way. Okay. They feel like their life went down the wrong type of path. And they feel like they were backstabbed by some people, maybe some members from the group. Okay, maybe Lewis, because we this is about Lewis and um Harry. We're not gonna bring nobody else into the reading. So it feel I'm feeling like Lewis may have felt like he was backstabbed by Harry, in some kind of way. Okay, because um somebody's been lying. Okay, and the reason why he probably felt like he was backstabbing and get what he want because he probably was procrastinating. Okay, but it left him so-called confused. He don't understand what went wrong. Okay, so he may be trying to start a revolution for some money. Okay, because he feel like people turned their back on him. And he feel like, oh, I'll slay them all. There's nobody that's going to be left. There's nobody that's not going to get slayed in this situation. Okay, because maybe... You know, when it comes to his family, you know, he probably need money. He probably need money to take care of his family right now. Do he got kids with this lady? I'm sure he do. You know, so he probably come in very soon. You know, probably flirt, finesse the system. Probably try to dig up, you know, something from the past to get some kind of publicity, you know, in the media for some money. Say what you mean. Okay, and it looks like Lewis will say what he mean. Like, he'll just say whatever just to get whatever. But I don't know the man. I don't know the man, so allegedly. <laughs> Look at me. Allegedly. Okay. So, we're going to see what's going on. I mean, if this happens. Okay, I don't know. Because right now, these... Uh, there's nothing going on other than somebody on my page re requesting Lewis and Harry. And this is what I'm finding out. Let's see. Let's see if the energy continues with this card. Okay, let's see. What can you tell us about this revenge? Why is this revenge card here? This is not looking like no love, y'all. It may have been something, okay? Probably the, back in the day, because, you know, somebody felt like they was confused. Okay, he may not even knew what was going on. He probably just showing chemistry because that was his band partner. Okay, his member. It says, joy through spiritual growth. Be be a light to others. Answer that comes through meditation. Yeah, because somebody had an epiphany. You know, he, he may have done some spiritual growth or feel like he done some spiritual growth. And he felt like he had an epiphany about what went on in the past. Okay, why is I need more on this revenge card? I forgot it was here. Tell me more about this revenge card for Harry and Lewis reading. Influencer having the power to influence, monitor your reputation, marketing, persona, persuader. It's still giving me, you know, speaking out in the in the you know. Going viral, something in the internet, talking out, speaking out. Okay, 
with this revenge card. It's like he had an epiphany and he feel like something that he's going to speak out about. Okay. What is he going to speak out about? Okay. What is he, what is he got to say? Because Harry already got on the dress. So what are you going to say? He just flexing a little bit. Okay. Maybe even being a little extra trolling. This thing ain't trolling just for money. He ain't got nothing to say. So. So he just wasting my time pretty much. I'm going to pull from this deck and see if I can pull anything else out of this reading. Because I, the way y'all was requesting this reading, I thought it was going to be a lot of juice here. And there's some juice here, but it's like backstabbing, tell-all, documentary um, type of juice. You know, they may be spilling some tea in this documentary. He going to spill something. But for the most part, he just flexing, being a little extra over the top. Okay. Dramatic. Maybe trying to disrupt some things. Okay. Just to influence, just to get, you know, in front of the, you know, the screen. Just to go viral. Make a little money. I don't know why I was laying this on Lewis. He just looked like the type that'll do it. But then again, it could be Larry, Harry too because you got on the whole dress. And if that's what you want to do, ain't nothing wrong with that, okay? Because clearly in 2021, that's what people are doing. There's nothing wrong with that, okay? Because if that's, especially if that makes you really happy. But if you're just trolling and just trying to pull something over on people or whatever, it's like, why? Okay? But it's like enough, 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 okay? It's like you were born enough, okay? You don't have to do all that. We got the voice card. The voice. Oh, that's a pretty card and scary. It says you are here to be known, so speak and be seen, okay? What well, Spirit said, let him, let him keep his dress on, okay? He's here to be seen. So, yeah, somebody's going to be speaking out using their voice, okay? They feel like they been through a spiritual uh, awakening and it's time to speak out on something. Concerning, it's going to be between Harry and Lewis. Y'all been, because confusion card, that confusion card is showing up again. It's like growth hurts, heal, and harness a way through the uncertainty. Yeah, it's something that happened in, in his, maybe in the band days that happened, that he is confused about. That maybe still hunts him in his dreams. Because the dream card did show up here. And he going to be speaking out about it. Because it hurts him. Because he he's still real confused about it. And he don't know where to place it. And he's starting to speak it. Use his voice. Because he feel like it, you know, his voice is um, important. Because emotional energy. Yeah, he's very emotional about it. Hey, Harry made me speaking out too. Okay. Yeah, something's going to be known and said. Emotions are messengers to be met with appropriate attention, action, and gratitude. Yeah. Get ready, y'all. Get ready. Something's about to hit the fan. I don't know what it is, honey. Okay. It's something that happened in the group while they was in the group. Okay. Somebody's going to be naked about it and be very truthful about it. It could be revengeful. Some people are going to probably say that they trying to act out in revenge. Okay. And this is what I'm picking up when, when it comes to both of these so-called relationships. You know, this is what I'm picking up with their energy right now. Somebody's feeling hurt and backstabbed. Okay. Feel like people turned their backs on them. And I feel like right now they're going to come out and slay who they need to slay because they feel like they're speaking their truth and their truth is important. They're going to use their voice, okay, because there's some things that happened that they were very confused about that still hurt them and they want some answers, okay, and because they're trying to get their emotional energy right. You know, he wants some answers and a little and a little check. You know, he wants a check too, you know. Don't forget that. But, you know, who don't want a check? Yes, my, my personal injury, whatever, I need a check. My pain and suffering in a check, okay, because it's some some things that perceived in his dreams that he's really trying to get the truth to it, okay. And it's just like say it's like some truth gonna be spoken, okay. So if a documentary coming out, y'all better tune in because somebody talking, somebody ready to speak. 
They say that they've been procrastinating about this for too long. And they're going to be speaking out. And I want to know what they're speaking out about, but it's something that hurt them. And I feel like that's something that they need to tell, not me. But I'm just going to see if, if this little deck going to tell us. Who knows? I don't know. Let's see. Judgment. Yeah, they're gonna feel, this person gonna feel judged about this, you know. That's why they didn't come out with it before because they was feeling judged about it. Okay, feel like people gonna judge them at all times. But it's like everything is gonna be fine. You know, they feel like now, you know, people are more accepting of the truth and more open to the truth, and everything will be fine if they come out with it now. It's it's right now. It's the time to speak about it. Give us more. Give us more. Okay. Because with the five of ones, okay, it caused a lot of drama in the past. Maybe even going to cause a lot of drama now. Just speaking about it now. Okay. Maybe even fighting over with the with the family member, with the groups, with the group. Okay. About this decision to come out. But at the end of the day, he's trying to get mental clarity and to have a happy home because he know that you know, who, whoever this is, Harry, because this is about Harry and Lewis. One of them or both of them are going to, you know, they're trying to find happiness, okay? You know, balance, period. Happiness in their personal life, financial life, okay? Emotional life. And their household, period. They just want to be happy. And they both on the journey to find their happiness. Okay, and to find the balance in it. But they feel like they can't find the balance or move forward until the truth is spoken. And it's time. Okay, so stay tuned to whatever they got to say because clearly they're going to have to be the one to say it. they going to be have to be the one to say it, not me. Okay, oh my. Okay, this is 32 minutes. This is going too long. Okay, so we're going to end it right there. Thank you guys for tuning in. See you on the next video. Peace.